Hello guys, it's been two years since my last video, but I'm still breathing and I'm still alive, and today I decided to make a video about the new demo. This is the simulation model, the linkage model of the new demo. Some people say that the new demo looks like the Banshee legend, but actually, uh, in terms of suspension design, it looks very similar to the Canyon Sender. Let me explain why. So, on the left you have the new demo. This is basically a four bar design, okay, with a shock linkage. So, here you have the chain stay, which is the first link. Then you have the, the seat stay, obviously. Then you have the main link here. And then you have this link here, which is the shock link, okay? And then you have, finally, the connecting link, which is this piece here. So if you look to the Canyon Sender, it, it is actually very similar, uh, with a, a difference. So here you can find the connecting link, okay? This one that we I draw it back here. And then you have also the shock link here, okay? So the difference is that in demo, the connecting link is longer. And then the shock link, instead of pivoting directly in the frame, it pivots concentrically with the chain stay, okay? So you eliminate uh, one pivot by, by doing that. You can you can see here. So this pivot here, it actually connects three different three different parts. It connects the um, the the chain stay here. It connects the shock link in the middle, and it connects obviously with the frame. So three parts connecting with the same with the same uh, uh, pivot. Um, actually, this pivot here it also connects three parts. It connects the shock link with the connecting link and with the shock. And finally, this link here, it also connects three parts. So the uh, seat stay, the main link and the connecting link. So this, this was pretty clever by Specialized because by doing that, they keep it, the system quite simplified and they reduced the number of pivots uh, needed. So back in 2016, I think I made a, a video comparing the demo uh, with the IT 2s when Gwyn moved from Specialized to to IT, and uh, basically I, I analyzed the kinematics of the the previous demo, and the main conclusions uh, of this video and of of this this linkage design. Uh, they were not, I mean, they were not very, very positive because uh, this design has some uh, disadvantage or some flaws in my, my opinion. Namely, uh, it has very low amounts of anti-squats, so the pedaling efficiency is not uh, very good. Uh, a positive aspect of, about that is that the pedal kickback is, is also low. But then, uh, besides that, you also have uh, low progressivity for a downhill bike. So, and that's one of the reasons why the pro uh, racers uh, race this bike with a modified shock linkage to slightly increase uh, its uh, baseline progression. Uh, now, in this demo, they basically move the main pivot to a, an upper position. And by doing that, so they they change slightly the the axle path of the rear wheel. So here you have the old axle path, and then this is the previous one. So as you can see, the new axle path is more vertical, so more normal or more common. Also, by moving the main pivots to a upward position, they also increased a lot the the anti squats. So you can see here, for for instance, at sack position, right, left, or like here and here, there is a huge difference uh, in the anti-squats. 
So the new demo has anti squats around uh, 130%, more or less, and the holder demo had like 30%. So you can see the, the conclusions in this table for, for all the cogs in the cassette, and you can see that the new demo has pretty, uh, rel relatively pretty high values of anti squat, so good, good values, good uh, pedaling efficiency while the previous demo has very low amounts of anti-squat, so low pedaling efficiency. One disadvantage of this is that uh, in the new is that in, in the new in the new demo you have more chain grow. What does this mean? It means that the chain length or the, the chain stay length increases more uh, with the compression of the suspension. So in the new demo, this, this, uh, this distance between the axle and the, the bottom bracket increased like almost 40 millimeters uh, at bottom out, while in the previous demo there was less extension, le less chain extension, and this distance increased only by 20 uh, millimeters. So basically in the new demo you have more pedal kickback when the suspension uh, compresses. Regarding the anti-rise, uh, I already talked a lot about this. So the new demo has like 50% of anti-rise at SAC and the older demo uh, had a quite uh, low uh, value of anti-rise at SAC. Finally, regarding the leverage ratio or the progressivity, I think this was uh, one of the best improvements uh, in this design. So the older demo was uh, slightly progressive and with this uh, new design uh, you have a considerable amount of uh, progression. So you have a final progressivity of the frame of 55% while the previous one was like 20-25%. To give you a more clear picture about this, I just made the, uh, this graph. This graph here is basically uh, the force needed to compress the suspension at the wheel. Okay, so the force in the wheel. Um, so you, if you compare the previous demo with the new demo, you end up with this value, 23%. So this in practice means that if you have the, the two demos with the, sh the same shock setting and the same sag, the new demo here will always, always take more 23% of force to fully bottom out when compared to the previous uh, generation. So this is a quite significant uh, value. And finally, to give you a better picture of this, here you have a table of progressivities. Most of these bikes were a bit old, but I mean, I didn't update this table much uh, since then. But uh, you, have here, you have here that the older demo has a slightly progressive uh, suspension, while the new demo is quite down in the table, so much more similar to Santa Cruz, or Norcos, or or even the two is, but the two is still a bit a bit more. But I mean, it's more close, uh, more close, more similar to to that value. To to conclude, um, the new demo, in my opinion, is a big improvement regarding the previous design. The design. Personally, I think it's quite a uh, good-looking design and clean design. This linkage here of the shock is pretty uh, unique. It's pretty well designed. I think they, they did a, a good job. Um, in terms of uh, anti-squat, it has good efficiency uh, in this design. Chain grow, it's a bit high, so this is a, a consequence of that high anti-squat. And uh, anti-rise is normal, about 50%, and the suspension progression is uh, quite high, about 55%, which is a, a very good value for, for a downhill bike. And that's it, guys, for today. Let's see if I can make more videos in the next uh, upcoming two years. I hope so. And until then, have fun, 
and uh, see you next time. Bye.